Boxing King Media in association with Boxer. I'd like to be joined by Ben Davison. Ben, it's media workout day for Lee Wood. Um, he's just turned up in a Ferrari. It looks like he's in good spirits. And most importantly, it doesn't look like he's struggling with weight. Yeah, look, I always try to be as honest as I can. Making featherweight is difficult for him. This is going to be his last fight of featherweight. Um, but, you know, he is extremely professional and um, you know, most importantly it's how he recovers but so far so good and uh, he's got the last bit to take off but like you say he looks well he's feeling good so um, yeah it's always a, a battle for for most lads making weight but Lee is extremely big for the weight it will be his last one um, at featherweight most likely um, but yeah he's, he's in good spirits and in a good place just saw you talking to uh, Josh's trainer and dad, uh, Sean. What were you guys discussing? Just talking. They're good. They're good people, you know. Got a lot of respect for for Josh and for Sean and and, and their team and the way that they uh, go about business. Um, they, they, there's mutual respect there. What kind of fight were you expecting? Because I know you're you're a tactician. You're you're very disciplined on. Um, anal should I say on what tactic to fight as follow but everyone's expecting this to be like a middle of the ring uh, trade off yeah I think it depends on how Josh approaches the fight I think that if Josh is you know he does thrive off of the crowd if he lets that motivate him and wants to keep you know he's going to want to get his hands on Lee and uh, if, he, if he's going to want to take that approach that leaves opportunities for Lee to meet him um, you know he, he he might make some adjustments. He's a better boxer than what people give him credit for. And uh, he might not look to be so reckless. He might take the atmosphere to one side, uh, put the crowd to one side, and, and be a little bit more disciplined in his approach as well. So we've got to be prepared for that. It's an intriguing fight because the loser potentially looks like it, you know, it could potentially be end of the road. What um, what skills do you see in Josh that you're most uh, wary of? Is it his speed, his power, footwork? What, what, what are you more worried about from Josh? Yeah, I think Josh, first and foremost, I think Josh is a, a better puncher. Punches a lot harder than what people give him credit for. His determination, his gritty, grittiness, his toughness, they're massive attributes for him as well. Um, I think inside he's very, very good. Um, and like I said, I think I think he's got a bit more versatility than what people give him credit for. I think he is a better boxer than than uh, than people give him credit for. I think that people just associate him as this pressure fighter, but I think he's got more in his locker than, than just that. Intriguing. And just lastly, because we ain't got a lot of time, I just want to ask you about, uh, we spoke to KD from 258 Management the other week and he suggested that AJ's just working out in your gym whilst uh, Derek James gets some free time. Just how that's been and how that link up happened? Yeah, he gets on really well with the twins. He doesn't live far from the gym. If I do say so myself, the gym's quite a good facility. So um, It is. I back that up. It is. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, he's been popping down. Like I say, he gets on really well with the twins. From They spent years on the squad together. Doesn't live far from the gym. So uh, he's popped down. You can imagine all sorts of conspiracy theories came out when, when he was kind of mentioned the other day, you know, you've been Tyson's ex-trainer. Like, are you guys doing any work together or is it, does he just do his own thing? Yeah, look, being honest, like, we're here for a big showdown between Josh and Lee. Um, so, really, I just want to keep focused on that. But like I say, look, people, like you say, conspiracy theories, people think too much into it. He's been popping down to the gym, he doesn't live far from the gym gets on well with the twins and, and that's it really. And you mentioned we mentioned Tyson there. Just a quick reaction to Fury Usyk being signed officially. That's the official news. Excited? Yeah, it's the fight that, that we all wanted to see. It's the fight that needed to happen. I did have a hunch. I thought that I said to a few people I think that they might announce it after this Ngannou fight. Is this Ngannou fight an exhibition? I don't I asked somebody this the other week and it's not. I think it's a ten round fight. Yeah, either way, either way, I thought that the fight might be announced um, after that. So, yeah, I'm pleased. Ben, any last words before I let you go? No, just uh, God willing for the victory on uh, Saturday night. Top man, Ben, appreciate your time. Thank you.